Hi everybody, my name is Megan Anderson and this is my Calm 1000 speech. Before I get into my speech, I want to ask a question of everybody. What do you think the most stressful or dangerous job is in the United States? Imagine that some of you might say coal miners, Alaskan crab fishermen, construction workers, loggers, etc. Just to name a few. Some of you might even say a soldier. And that's why I'm giving my speech today. My speech is about why serving in the United States military is one of the most stressful, stressful and dangerous jobs in America today, particularly being an infantryman in the military. I imagine that a lot of you might agree with me when I say this, if you, uh, especially if you shared considerable interaction with military personnel, whether it be your friend, your relative, or even your spouse. Throughout, throughout my speech, I'm going to provide three main points for you of why being a soldier is an incredibly stressful and difficult job. Uh, my first main point is physical hardship. I'm also going to talk about mental hardship and emotional slash social hardship. So my first point is that Army infantrymen endure intense physical hardship. What do I mean by this? So every morning they get up at 4 or 5 in the morning, and a lot of times they don't even get off work till 6 or 7. They have intensely long work days, and that's average to be at work for 12, 13 hours. Sometimes it's even longer. In addition, every day they do strenuous PT. They run however many plus miles, 3 plus miles, even more. They have high standards. They do PT tests quite often, usually once a year, but depending on where you are, you might even be doing that every month. It's about pushing oneself to one's limits. In addition, soldiers have to endure long deployments and high risk of injury. Deployments on average are 12 to 14 months, sometimes nine. Um, and the risk of injury, or injury, especially for an infantryman, is 12 times higher than other jobs in the military because they are our first defense and are on the front line. In addition, Army infantrymen endure intense mental hardship. They have to endure the mental stress of responsibility they're considered the backbone of the army. They're responsible for defending our con country against any threat on land. That's a big responsibility to carry. In addition to having the responsibility of taking care, if you are a high-ranking infantryman, you have soldiers beneath you, and you have responsibility of making sure that they're supposed to be doing what they're doing. They also have to deal with the death of fellow soldiers, which is common often in deployments, and witnessing gruesome deaths, which can lead to PT, a lot of PTSD problems in soldiers. Um, a lot, often there's a statistic from the Go Army website that says the risk of psychological harm is even higher than the risk of physical injury or even death. There's a lot of problems linked with exposure to warfare like depression, drug dependence, alcoholism, and relationship problems. And then my final main point is that infantrymen endure intense emotional and social hardship. What do I mean by this? I mean that every three, two to three years, they're moving to a new duty station. They're going to some place new that they don't know. It puts a lot of stress on family and marriage. Moving does, and even being on deployments puts stress on that too, because you have a soldier away for a year at a time, and a lot of the spouses have young kids, and they're growing up not seeing their dad for years at a time. It, it puts stress on the kids and on the spouses. And then the third point was then being away for extended periods of time. It can be hard on the soldier, too, not being able to talk to his family or have that immediate communication. If you need to get a hold of your soldier across sea or vice versa and get all of you back home, it takes, it can, it, it's not a call you can just make. It's not instant. It takes time. And that can affect you mentally. So in concluding my speech, I hope I've brought to light what being, what the daily duties of an American soldier are specifically an infantryman. Some of you might even go on to join the military at some point in your life, whether or not you choose infantry is another matter. So in my speech, I began by engaging you, the audience, by posing a question of what you consider the most difficult job to be. I countered it by saying that being a soldier was the hardest job, and I provided examples that were the physical, mental, and emotional hardships that they have to endure. I attempted to enlighten the reader as to what the daily duties of an army infantryman, and I end, ended by going over all this. I want to conclude by saying being an infantryman is in any branch of the military, not just necessarily the army, is not for the faint of heart. It takes courage, determination, blood, sweat, and tears to succeed at this job. If you do, though, the benefits can be immense. It's not for everybody, like I said. Uh, from the Go Army website, there's a statistic that says less than 1% of the American population 
is enlisted, is currently serving in the military, and 0.013% of those people sign up to be an infantryman. So it's definitely not a job everybody wants. And your risk of death is a lot higher. Your job duties are often involved in getting blown up and things like that. But to say, to end, I will say that I'm, my husband is in the Army and being married to a U.S. Army infantryman is one of the most rewarding feelings in the world. And just always remember to thank those who serve in the military, especially those who have fought for our freedom. Whether or not it's Veterans Day or not, you should do it any day. We definitely owe them our thanks. Thank you for listening.